we're doing November favorites. My mic went out. It's okay. I'll refilm. I know what I was saying. I have some shoes, some yummy scents I want to share with you. Let's get on with the favorites, okay? So I started off with this one. I look stupid when I wear this and I don't care. I'm in my room so I can look stupid all I want. If I want to go outside and wear this, I'm going to look stupid outside. Who cares, okay? My chin strap. I did an entire video on a double chin and I have such, I have a problematic area right here. You know what I mean? And I've been doing gua sha, not religiously, but I need to. But every single time I use it, my my face, it you just see it sculpted. It's like training the skin. That's why people who do gua sha all the time, you see such extreme changes. It's because they've been doing it every single day. It is not a lie. When I use this, this chin strap, and I do my eye makeup, oh, trust me, I look dumb. Glenn walks in, into my room, and he starts laughing. Obviously, I'm not putting it on, like, <laughs> I'm not putting it on tight right now, but I'm telling you, it lifts my chin area so much after I do gua sha. So I do gua sha first and I do also my icing. Oh my gosh, what did I show you right now? But this thing really just, I feel like it molds everything into place because I can wear this for a long time with constant lift while I'm doing my eyes and my eyebrows. So I love that. Go watch that video though. I don't wanna go too much into it because I did a whole video dedicated to the damn chins, okay? Along with this. Now, this is actually a twofer for me. This helps obviously um, with the chin area as well, but I like it because think of it when people do ice baths to like shock their body, build their immune system and all these benefits, circulation, all that, a lot of health benefits. This really helps me in the morning with like my anxiety or if I'm just feeling like, I don't know, I just need to relax, you know, maybe not extreme anxiety, but it just calms me and it gets me ready for the day. Like it just awakens me. So it's like a two for, like I said, love this one for the face. And when I use it in the morning time, like I said, I just feel more just at ease and ready. And it just, whew. Another thing I've been using to kind of relax at nighttime is a Dreamy Mist from Pixie. I really like this one. I've used other ones and the lavender is way too strong. Lavender is not my favorite scent at all, but this one I can handle. I just give a couple of sprays and I spray it a little bit, like maybe like 10 to 15 minutes before I go to bed. I don't spray it and then lay down because then it is a little bit on the strong side. But once I just let it settle, it really helps. I really like it and I actually notice it just calms me. People have been asking me, what are you wearing? The gloss is glossing. I have talked about this product so many times and I showed it in video the Maybelline lifter gloss this is one of my tubes I keep in my gym bag it's just like my extra but I love wearing this just on its own and it is my favorite in reef I just recently bought two more tubes from Amazon probably on my eighth tube I scraped this thing this is my favorite one they just sent me um they have some that are for lip plumping I'm gonna try them out I already tried one that kind of looked like this shade but it didn't give that much pink but whoo it was getting spicy. Okay, let me show you some cute ass shoes. This is called the Vomero. I don't know what color it is, but it's my favorite color, nude. Now, I'm not into dad shoes, like New Balance and all of that, I'm not. But this one has like more sleekness to it. I like like the little light green in the back, but this shoe with like a cute white sock, I love it. It is so damn cute. Wait, is it focusing? There we go, right there. It is so cute. I just love the nude right here and it matches so much. So that shoe is like the best in the gym, it, especially if you have like a pain in your arches. They're called the pralines and I love them because the color, they match a lot, but I love the lace. It is ribbon. Now you don't have to use the ribbon. It comes with other laces, some white ones, but I don't want them. <laughs> I love the ribbon, especially with the ribbon. It's just so girly, it screams me. So if you're into like girly kicks, this is the shoe for you. I love, it looks so much better than online. And it's so hard because when you buy sneakers online, a lot of the color schemes are just, they look different. And there was like one that was like a mauve. I'm like, ooh, it kind of looks like dirty. And then I saw it in person, I'm like, I want that shoe and of course they didn't have my size. So I just started taking the supplement. I follow this girl on TikTok and I will tell you right now, being a creator, I don't really believe a lot of people. And I'm not trying to talk crap or whatever, but you know, it is what it is. It's advertising, but advertisements are everywhere. I think people also fail to forget like, oh, they're just advertising. Like this is an advertisement. Like I'm showing you stuff I like. Going back to what I was gonna say, I don't believe in fitness influencers. 
there's so many that I used to follow. And then all of a sudden I start looking like really like deep diving, like seeing their bodies. I'm like, oh my gosh, like I love how she's thick, but like she's got that slim waist. And then all of a sudden the belly button pops up and I'm like, why does that look like a coin, like a coin slot? <laughs> and that's okay. If people want to get surgery, do what makes you happy. I am all for it. I'm all for it. Do what makes you happy. But I just don't like it when they portray like they worked so hard for it. Like I'm sure they worked hard in some way, but don't act like it was just like built from the get. You know what I mean? Just like be honest. I think it would just, a lot of people have way more credibility if they were just honest about it. Like, yeah, I got my BBL. Yeah, I got um, whatever, some skin taken off. Or yeah, I got lipo or whatever the heck they do. So anyhow, there's this one fitness influencer and I don't, she's not similar to my body type and I usually like following people who I really like their body type and I like, you know, their whole brand. Like it's not forced, um, it's realistic, it's not like starving, like they don't make it seem like all they eat is like chicken veggies and brown rice. I think she's from Miami or something, but she always talks about amino lean. Sorry if that was like a long intro. And I say, you know what? I'm just gonna give it a try because she's taking it every single time and I just love how much she's sweating. I love how she puts in work and you can see it. Like the girl is dripping. So I'm like, okay, it's for real. Like, cause when you see the other one, where's that sweat at? Where is the sweat? I wanna see you wet. I wanna see you drip. She's always talking about, ooh, pink lemonade and pink lemonade just sounds so good. It's like five grams of vegan amino acids, anytime, anytime energy, weight management, mental focus, zero sugar, vegan friendly, you use it before exercise, gluten-free. You don't get jitters from it. I ended up ordering it on Amazon during Black Friday and I've been using it ever since. Oh my gosh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's how I felt when I used it. I was dripping sweat. You know, I'm someone where I sweat very easily, but I've been going to the gym much more consistently. I'm so happy my booty is coming back. <laughs> So many booty prayers I've been saying, but my booty is starting to come back, you know, and I'm so happy. I'm getting strong again. I'm getting consistent. I'm getting addicted to the gym again. Um, but I tried this because I wasn't sweating as much, you know, you, you know, your body changes, you're, you start getting like used to exercises, but it doesn't mean that you're not putting in work. Right. But I'm used to just like be, I'm dripping sweat. Now I'm not, which is also, um, kind of in combination with like my anxiety because when I get anxiety or nervous I'm sweating a lot it's the worst it's very embarrassing but I will say I haven't been sweating a lot at the gym at all even when I'm putting in work I tried this drenched it gave me the energy I needed without feeling a you know like those jitters or like when your body's all tingly you're like ooh, you know like <laughs> this was so, oh my gosh I'm just so glad I got it and I'm so glad I just said, you know what? I feel like I can trust this girl. I feel like she's not lying and I'm so happy. I take this at night. Um, again, you do you. This is for me and my body, okay? But I take this at night and I can still go to sleep. I was in shock because one night I was so damn tired. I said, there is no way in hell I'm going to the gym, but I should go. I just skipped three days. I'm supposed to go today for sure. No ifs, ands, or buts. And I was like, damn, I'm kind of marinating in my sweater. I'm cozy. I just want to eat. Like, I honestly just wanted like a chili dog or pizza. You know, you get in those moods. I took a scoop of this. I said, no, I'm going to force myself. I took a scoop. I went to the gym with Glenn because he was going anyhow. And I was like, damn, he's going. I'm not going to go. Like, you know, and I was able to sleep. I was in shock. Even Glenn was in shock. I said, okay, I'm going to test it again tomorrow. I tested it the next day, amazing results. The next day, so I've been obsessed with this one. Have you guys ever tried this one, Amino Lean? Let me know. I've been obsessed with this pink powder from Huda Beauty. It's just like very soft focused underneath the eyes. I love the tone. Um, I think it, it reminds me of the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder without it being super dry <laughs> because that thing was like, okay, underneath the eyes, even though I love the way it looked before, but yeah, this one is what I'm wearing. I got the small one. Get a small one. It's going to last you so long and you don't need to be putting so much, you know. Um, I got this during the Sephora sale and I'm so happy I did. Let's go into some yummy scents. So this one, Burberry Her. Thank you so much for letting me know which one it was because I showed you in one video and I was like, what bottle is this? And I saw your comments. So thank you for telling me because, whoo, 
Ooh, it is. I wear this during the day and night. I literally just got this a couple weeks ago and just seeing it already go down is making me nervous. I love this perfume so much. And what's so funny is once I got it, I swear our phones hear us. And all of a sudden I see all these TikToks on Burberry hair. I saw some sponsored videos and I'm like, damn, that should have been me because that this thing is delicious and I cannot stop wearing it. This one is my favorite right now. And Glenn randomly complimented me on the sample and he's very picky with scents. Like I said in my previous Vlogmas, I cannot wear any Marc Jacobs anymore, at least around him. So one day he's like, ooh, you smell really good. And then I wore it again. Oh, you got a, I got a compliment and a couple more compliments. I'm like, all right, I'm buying it. So yeah, I just, oh my gosh, it was so good. And I also want to say thank you so much to Cindy because she's a follower of mine and she was so sweet. And on my birthday, she like randomly sent me a gift card to Sephora. So I used part of that gift card to pay for this because it is amazing. Um, yeah, and this was the only thing I ordered in that one order because this was special and it is so good. So I want to say thank you so much to Cindy, which was so sweet of her. This reminds me of, okay, you know how everybody was on Ariana Cloud, right? I think it smells good. But there's something about it that, you know, you just, it's either you love it or you just don't like it at all. And I do like it, but I don't love it. There's something a little bit too powdery about it. And it's very, um, I don't want to say like, it's, it just smells like a lot of powder. Like it's just missing a little note. You know, like when you, here's an analogy, you make food and you add like a little bit of lemon or vinegar, you know, to cut something. It's like, it needs something like an extra scent. This is such a good one. This one is from Five Cents, Life of the Party. And to me, this smells very similar to Ariana Cloud, but what it was missing, not exactly it, but you know what I mean, what it was missing, and more sophisticated, more grown. Yeah, it is, it is a good one. I love the bottle too. This is a good one for day, and I also wear it at nighttime. I'm someone where I'll wear any scent during the day and night. I'm not too picky. Like if I got it, I'm wearing it. But yeah, this one is very good. If you like Ariana Cloud, which I know a lot of people do like it, but this one is it's very complete. Give it give it a um give it a sniff. I was very surprised by this one and it's Born Dreamer. And this is actually from a TikToker Charlie Demilio and I don't know if you guys have heard of her, but this is her scent. And when I got sent this, I was kind of like Oh, it's probably gonna like be too young or like not last or whatever. It's very good. It is a very young, fresh scent. It's very fun. Um, it's not flirty at all. It's very clean. And what I think of this scent is it reminds me of do you, if have you guys ever smelled Ralph Lauren Blue? Oh my gosh, that was like my favorite back in the day, and I still have a bottle just because it brings back nostalgia. And I I like the scent. It's so nice and fresh. This reminds me of it. So if you like that one, yeah, it's just. A little bit sweeter it's almost like Ralph Lauren blue but sweeter and I really like it it's a really good scent I was very surprised I was like oh, it can't be that great and I was like ooh, don't judge a book by its cover so yeah you just figured like oh it's just someone like young just like making a scent or whatever but no it's very good the lashes I'm wearing I've been wearing them for two weeks a little on the annihilated side this is from kiss lash couture naked drama in ruffle this is what they're supposed to look like <laughs> They're very fluttery and soft. The band on this is insane. It is so lightweight and flexible. I did a whole Instagram reel on it. And it is, it reminds me of a Lily Lash without the heaviness and without the heaviness of the price tag. It is a very luxe lash. I can't believe how great it is. The drugstore lashes are coming through. Like, I don't think I'll ever buy another Lily Lash ever again. They've sent me stuff, but what's so crazy is I'm going to this lash and a lot of kiss lashes that they're coming out with instead of those, just because these are so lightweight. You know, when you put on lashes, you don't want to feel like you got like one pound weights on your eyes, you know? It's just like, oh, you know when you just can't wait to take them off? Lashes shouldn't be that way. You should just feel like, oh shit, I'm wearing them, they're on still. So I loved it so much that I'm psycho and I bought one on Amazon because I already know this is going to be a holy grail. But yeah, I've used them already for two weeks. This is what they're looking like. They're very fluttery, very flirty. They're very manipulated right now because like I said, two weeks. So they've been through some stuff, okay? They've been through some stuff, but this is what they look like. I highly recommend them. 
such a good flirty luxe lash. You know when people say like, oh, we got food at home or like your mom's like, oh, we got food at home and you heard that growing up. Well, you know what? We got we got a nail salon at home, okay? Glamnetic, I am obsessed. This is my favorite brand. If you don't like Glamnetic or the brand doesn't fit you, watch my battle, the press-ons, and I do a breakdown of like five or six different brands. So go watch that video. But Glamnetic is my favorite right now. I'm currently wearing Red Affair, you know, for Christmas vibes. Red glittery tips, I love them. I just think they look so nice. And nail salon who? Because every time I walk out of that place, I'm like, that was so overly priced. I could have done this at home and I would have been happier. You know what I mean? Like my pockets would have been fatter. It's just, I'm never leaving satisfied. And honestly, I'm not that picky of a person when it comes to my nails. But when you have stuff where it's like overflowing glue and stuff that's gonna damage it, I'm just like, oh, I can't. You know what I mean? I just can't. But these are so good, you guys. Press-ons are where it's at. And then you guys already know my favorite glue is the NYK one, number one. I've used their glue before, it's decent, but nothing beats this because I've been using this for so long that I don't even bother using any other brand's glues anymore. Only when I was testing out like the brands, but this one is just it. My nails can last up to like two weeks, sometimes even more. Obviously like maybe one might pop off or two, never more than two though. And I'm going to the gym, washing dishes, cleaning up the house, grabbing things rough. I'm rough with my hands, okay? So yeah, again, Glamnetic, and I have a coupon code, what will Lizzie do when you get 30% off the nails? So that's a huge discount. I've actually never had a coupon code that gives that much discount. Like at the most, maybe like 25, but this is 30, and it's not like only during the holiday season, it's like year round. My favorite palette, Beauty and the Beast. People keep asking me, what's on your lid? Then I'll tell you, it is this shade right here, and it makes your eye like look wet in person and I love it. This palette is so nice. Even if you don't even like Beauty and the Beast, the colors in here are beautiful. And this green one too, stunning. But I've been wearing this so much and this has been my go-to. I haven't grabbed any other palette um, at all. Like this is the one I've just been using because it's just so simple and I love the colors in it. I hope you guys are excited for Vlogmas. If you don't know I'm doing Vlogmas, it's a video every single day until Christmas. And I'm really excited to be participating in it. This counts as a Vlogmas day. Um, some videos are just gonna be vlogs, some will be beauty videos, some will be cooking videos, um, maybe setting up a coffee bar video, all those different things, so just look out for that. I also plan on doing some giveaways. I wanna make some stockings and put some makeup goodies in it, or maybe just mail out the stocking and then like place the goodies, you know what I mean? I don't know, something cute, but I already have a basket full of stuff that I want to um, do for the giveaways and it's like NARS and all types of good brands. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put the advent at the end of every video, I think the end of every video because my husband and I always do advent calendars so I'll put it at the end. So it'll be at the end of this video. Obviously you guys are watching, you haven't seen that part yet. So I'll, I'll, I'll add that in now, okay? <laughs> all right, I love you and I'll see you in the next one, Mwah, which is tomorrow. Whoop. Day two, advent. I'm gonna start on my mini brand while Glenn gets ready so we can get it started. So I've decided I'm just gonna put my advent at the end of every video instead of the beginning. So in case some people just don't follow or don't care, then they can just see it. So now we have number two right here. Let's see, who do we have? I think the Black Widow was so cute yesterday. Oh my God. Ooh, Mickey looks a little different though. I'm not gonna lie. So it's Mickey in a car but look at his eyes they're kind of scary like they're off a little but it's still cool i don't know if you can tell shoot it is so hard because he's so tiny and i'm not trying to rip this but right there see how his eyes are so high up also thank you so much for all the compliments on my nails i love them nail salon who so we're doing day two say hi it's right here. found it i told you it was in the left corner oh <laughs> I knew it. I was all like, it's in the corner. Kind of taste sour. Mm, yeah. I sour. wonder why, but they're normal. Maybe they mix up the packaging. Oh, yeah. They taste sour. Ooh. Day two. I won. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I did that little slow-mo. Someone said, if you didn't say whoever eats a gummy first wins, and you're so true because... 
once I said that, then he was already sticking in his mouth. <laughs> okay, Glenn's going to do his day two um, Legos. I'm going to finish my makeup while he explains day two. So, day two on... Day two? Day two <laughs> on the Star Wars advent calendar is actually pretty... It was pretty weird because I was trying to figure out what it was and what the Star Wars advents like to do. They like to make micro mini um, models of the actual like uh, uh, aircraft, uh, spacecraft or uh, vehicles and stuff like that. So I got and I was like, what is this? What is this? And it looks kind of weird. But this right here is actually supposed to be the justifier from uh, Bad Batch, Cad Bane and... Um, you guys aren't really into the older lore the clone wars and all that cad bane's in there too which is a pretty good show um if you, if you want to get into that but um that was my day two of that and my uh marvel day two was actually um this mini quinjet which is another vehicle so they do it too but this is supposed to be like a the the jet that the Avengers use and stuff like that and fly around in, but in Christmas color, which is pretty cool. Um, they always do that. They'll toss like, hey, is the little something, make it, and then that's what's part of the actual advent calendar. But it's always like the third or fourth day that you'll get a nice surprise, and it's usually a mini fig.